بر محمد آل محمد صلوات صلی اللہ محمد محمد آل محمد صلوات اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان اللہین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین بارد خلاحب اجمعین اللذی جعلنا من المتمسکین وبلایت عمیل المؤمنین و اولاد المحسومین ثم الصلاة والسلام على اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین حبیب الهنا و طبیب نفوسنا عبالغاسم محمد صلی الله علیه و علا اهل بیته تیبین الطاهرین الهدات المهدیین اللهم کن ولیک الغجت ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى أبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة غليا وخافدا وغائلا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه وأرضك توعاه وتمتعه فيها تبيلا سلام
in how to have a good business, I'll give you a few tips. Like praying, like doing good, like charity, so on and so forth. But there is no force. Like Rahat al-Din, there is no force. It's up to you. You want to do well, you do well. If you don't want to do well, again, it's up to you. At the end of the day, everybody is put in their own grave. And everyone will have to answer back for their own deeds, not for anybody else's. So it's up to yourself. Every prophet that was sent, every imam that came, came with the message that I want to show you a tip. I want to show you a business tip on how to make a profit, how to trade well with Allah. Some of you who are in the business of, you know, businessmen and trading will know that if you buy shares and sell shares in the stock markets, sometimes they print tips in the newspapers. That today, especially in the beginning of the new year, everybody becomes an expert. Buy this shop share, buy this stock, by the end of the year you will double your investment, double your investment. And this is the role of the prophets and the role of the imams. They came and said, do this, do that, and you will be successful. But it is amazing how many people turn away. No one wants to listen. And Allah says in the Quran, وَقَلِيلًا مِنْ إِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورِ Only a small amount of my people are thankful. Truly, my brothers and sisters, this every minute, you know, sometimes I sit and think to myself, you know, some of these clocks, they have a ticking noise. And every time it ticks, that is a second of your life that has gone. Like a river that is flowing, the water is flowing, it will never come back again. And this is life. I told Abu Jardi, who is renowned, one of our most renowned islands, Rahmatullah Ta'ala alayhi. His servant says, and some of you who have been to Iran, you will see that the streets in Iran, they have these gaps where the water runs through. It's like a sewer water, waste water runs through the streets. You might have seen it. His servant says, one day when I went out to buy some bread and I came back, I saw that Ayatollah was sitting next to one of these, and he was crying like someone who's lost a child. This was at the age of 70. I said to him, Master, what's happened? What's wrong? Anybody died? He goes, no, he goes, I was looking at this water flowing away and I thought to myself, in these 70 years, what have you done? Your life is like this water. It is flowing away. What have you done? And with everything that Allah has given you, you can trade. You can use. And some of them are very obvious. If he has given you money, you can use this money to trade. If he has given you the power of the tongue, you can use this tongue to trade. If he has given you eyesight, you can use these eyes to trade. If he has given you hands, you can use these hands to trade. If he has given you ears, you can use these ears to trade. With every single tool he has given you, you can trade. So there is no excuse. Most of us think it's because you know, it has to do with money. Whenever you mention you know, giving the way of God, people sometimes know it. Don't you, know, don't you realize the credit crunch, we're in the financial problems, you know, there's no money. It's just not money. Money is not the only thing that Allah has given you. <coughs> he has given you other things. And we can all use these things that I mentioned to trade in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As a quick example, you want to go on holiday. <coughs> Everybody who works gets 21 days, 20 days, 27 days holiday here. You want to use your holidays. You have an option. You can either spend a thousand pounds and go to Dubai for a week, or you can use this thousand pounds and go to Asham in China, or go to Karbala. You might say, and, I'm, and we all know in our families, we have friends that we go someplace, they go somewhere else. Some of us have family that we come to these majalis, they don't come to these majalis. Some of us have friends who even make fun of us and they say, Ooh, Every year you go for Imam Hussein, doesn't it ever end? Doesn't this martyr ever 